That's it guys, in today's gameplay I'm running pistol only, but this time I'm running two pistols, so SSP-1 and SSX-23. Why am I doing this? Now, if I want to breach a building, I want fast follow-up shots, I want a loud pistol, and therefore the SSP-1 is perfect, especially with the 31 rounds magazine capacity. But once I'm in position, you know, maybe I work myself up into the first story and I want to stay undiscovered, then the suppress pistol is perfect. So first of all, get in position with the SSP, then host it back, get the SSX, and then stay undiscovered and take those suppressed shots. No idea if it's gonna work out like I think it's going to work out, but we're gonna find out today. Whoa. Can we go to the juggernaut? Out of gas. Hit! Fuck, I ran out of gas. They have no idea where I am, so I'm gonna use the SSX for this one. The respawn of the enemy is right over there, so they're gonna be coming here from the left side, and there is no way that they're gonna look up here. Now this is the advantage of running really fast in the beginning, you just get into positions where they have no idea. And they're just gonna, you know, be running this way. It's gonna be an easy one, let's just wait. The only way to get the right angle down there is to stand here with one foot on these stapled bricks here. And then my other leg is here. This is the only way I can get into a good position. So guys, I'm over there. See, with my leg I can adjust the height. Totally missed that guy. That was so unnecessary. This is why you should always adjust your hop up before the game, not during the game. Yeah, that's a big mistake. Um, I overhopped, which is why I didn't hit him, and that would have been such an easy kill. God damn it. Okay, okay let's see.
sorry, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, there's a there's a leaf seed sniper in the tree. I'd rather not go back onto this window. Gonna move over there. No, if a sniper is aiming at this window, you never want to pop out your head again. I'm gonna try from this window. You know, if he's an unskilled sniper, he will always be looking through the scope and he might not have this window in the view. So, that must, might be a blind spot for him. I'm gonna try. Okay, that was it for today's game day with pistol only. The whole experience was, I think it was kind of cool. I really dig that I can, you know, switch between the pistols if I see, okay, there's a bunch of enemies and I'm gonna breach this building. The SSX would not be the way to go. So being able to, you know, switch between the different systems is definitely an advantage. And I did it all the time. I was kind of afraid that I'm gonna, you know, just use one platform throughout the entire day. I'm not gonna switch. But there's just situations where the SSP is better and then there's situations where the SSX is better. Transitioning does take quite some time. You know, it's not something that you do during contact. It's really, you know, you work your way up into a nice position and then, you know, you do it nice and slowly. One issue that I had is organizing magazines because now I have the same magazine pouches for both the SSP magazine and the SSX magazine. You know, if I run an SSG and an SSP, I will never switch up those magazine pouches. It's clearly which one is which one. But here I was sometimes in situations where I was, okay, reload, bam, and I dropped the mag and God damn it, it's the wrong magazine. So that was an issue. Other than that, it was working out pretty well. Now I've seen people running setups like this while running a primary, so that a sniper rifle and then a gas blower pistol and a suppressed pistol. I think that's an overkill. However, I think it's a good idea to own both of those pistols because, you know, sometimes in woodland areas, the SSX or a suppressed pistol is the better choice. And then for urban areas, the GBB is the better choice. But running them all at once together with a sniper rifle, it just adds weight, it adds bulk, it's kind of confusing using again with the magazines and I don't think it's a good idea. Also when you do transition you have your sniper rifle in one hand then you have to put back this pistol and draw the next pistol maybe you kind of you know not your hands so not a good idea I think. But if you ever want to try it pistol only you have a very lightweight setup anyway so it doesn't really matter if you carry another pistol. Definitely try it out it's a lot of fun. Okay that was it for this week's video if you guys want to check out the SSP or the SSX just like I'm using them you can find them at knowledge.com and hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.